Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. As you can see from the screen, I very much love Alibaba Cloud. I'm an Alibaba Cloud MVP for now the third year. I'm also fully certified on Kubernetes. Plus, I'm seven times Alibaba Cloud certified. I'm a CNCF ambassador. You know, I love open source. I love Kubernetes. So I'm an Alibaba Cloud MVP, CNCF ambassador. I'm also founded at kesuga.com, ksdm.com. Follow me by any one of the links listed here. So today I'm going to show you how to create a Alibaba Cloud ACK cluster automatically. Just run one command in nine minutes, typically about nine minutes. And it also comes with a PostgreSQL database. So let's get started. So first of all, why Alibaba Cloud? So as you can see from the screen, according to the third party research by Canalys, Alibaba Cloud has 39% market share. Uh, that's in China, but they also rapidly expand to other Asia Pacific countries and also Europe and North America. So the other thing I want to highlight is uh, if you look at the regions, I'm based in Asia Pacific. If you look at the number of regions, seriously, even from two years ago, I did the research among all the top cloud providers. As you can see, Alibaba Cloud back to two years ago, they got 20 regions. And the rest of the big cloud guys, they just can't compete with Alibaba Cloud. And after two years, in the last two years, Alibaba Cloud added another five regions in Asia Pacific. The rest of the cloud providers either keep the same or still in progress uh, adding or maybe one or two new regions. Okay, so why Alibaba Cloud ACK? ACK, that's their managed Kubernetes offerings. It's called Container Service for Kubernetes. So first of all, it started very early to offer the managed Kubernetes service. So as you can see from the screen, they started to offer ACK service back in early 2016. Uh, that is about two years be before uh, Azure AKS and one year after AWS and uh, Google. Secondly, they provide a built-in observability, advanced features and capabilities, which is uh, other cloud provider actually, they started to follow to provide the complete service. The One of the key things I want to highlight is ASM. That's their... Uh, they claim that it's the first uh, Istio compatible hosted uh, service mesh platform. ASIC at Edge, uh, that's the first container product uh, for the Edge computing. Alibaba Cloud also one of the very first to provide the multi cross management, hybrid multi cross management. Mix and match, also one of the first uh, you know, uh, product uh, being able to provide the uh, Mix match workload, worker nodes, spot instance, and the on demand instance. You can mix it together. Okay, let's get started. So, how to automate an ACK cluster and PostgreSQL database? I will shortly jump to the uh, Alibaba Cloud Console to show you a live demo. First of all, if you don't have a ACK cluster, Alibaba cloud account, you can sign up a trial account in about five minutes. Once you have the cloud account ready, literally you just you know need one command in about 10 minutes, you can build the uh, ACK cluster with uh, the PostgreSQL database. And to clean up, you just need to run another command to clean up. So a little bit of preparation tasks. If you don't have Ali, Ali Yun CRI installed, you need to install Ali Yun CRI. Here's a link. And then you run Ali Yun configure to configure to provide your Alibaba Cloud access key and the sticker key. So once you have the command line tool installed, you can clone the repository from my GitHub page. And optionally, you can customize the class name, instance type, or region, zone, etc. And once you have these ready, 
literally you just run the one magic command. It's called dot slash ack dash deploy dot sh to build the ack cluster. So what's part of the automation? We are going to create a VPC, vSwitch, gateway, route. We're going to create an ACK cluster from the command line. We're going to deploy PostgreSQL sample database. So let me jump to the Alibaba Cloud Console. So actually, so first of all, I'm going to show you from the command line. First of all, you need to make sure Alien CI is installed. If I type Alien, you can see I got the command the help page coming up. So first of all, let me verify from the web console. I logged into Alibaba Cloud Web Console. If you're not in the clusters page right now, I don't have any ACK cluster. What you can do is you can search ACK and click a container service for ACK. Or from the menu bar, you can select a container service for ACK. If you, you already ping, uh, the product here. If it's not, you need to look into the containers. Under containers, there is a container service for Kubernetes. Okay, come back to the command line terminal. What we can do is uh, we just let me actually show you my GitHub page first. So if you go to my GitHub repository, so one of the repository called ACK Casa. And from here, you can go straight to the README section. So all we need to do, yeah, there are a little bit more information if you're interested to, to, to create the cluster bar UI, et cetera. So first of all, uh, technically you can use the Alibaba Cloud Shield to do the same thing. So let me show you how to do it from the terminal. So from the terminal, basically you just run the command git clone, clone the repository, as long as you have the Alien CI installed. So from here, I actually already cloned the repository. If I do another clone, it will say, oh, you already cloned. Okay. Oh, no, actually I cloned another one. So anyway, so let, let me remove this clone. I don't need another one. So what I supposed to do is uh, from this folder, this is my home folder, do a git clone, it will say, oh, you already have the ACK Kata clone here. I change it to the directory. And then all I need to do is I just run the ACK dash deploy command to create the cluster. So press enter, paste the command, press enter. And then behind of the scene, you can see we are actually setting the environment variables and then followed by give you uh, one long command. So basically you copy the whole line of the command. So it's why we actually, we are going to create the cluster by the open API. So copy the whole command and then come back to the browser, open new tab, paste the command here, press enter. And once it pop up on the screen, you actually, you don't need to change anything. So let me zoom a little bit. So part of the open API, the URL, actually you got to your class name, your region ID, your version, you know, all of these are already pre-selected. And all, all I need to do is just click initiate call. After I click initiate call, shortly you should be able to see it is successfully you can see sex status code 202. That means the API call has been successfully uh, done. And now you can see your cluster ID, all these details. Now come back to the terminal, press enter. So now we just need to wait about, you know, eight, nine minutes. All right, as you can see from the screen, the installation so far, it is very good. Right now, we're in the last uh, stage, we're going to deploy a PostgreSQL sample database. In a few seconds, you should be completely successful. So yeah, as, I can, as you can see from the screen, we completed the automation to deploy a 
A C K. That's a managed Kubernetes cluster from Alibaba Cloud. It took uh, just under nine minutes. Now let me come back to the slide deck here. So where is the slide deck? Yes, we just talk about uh, A C K deploy. How to use the A C K dash deploy dot sh to build the uh, A C K cluster automatically. So once you're done your testing. If you don't need to keep the cluster, but you should always clean them up. That's where I created the ack-destroy.sh script to allow you to remove the ack cluster, remove all the relevant VPC, vSuite, gateway route, remove all the relevant disks. If there is any snapshots, also remove them. So come back to the terminal here. Actually, let me come back to the web console. I want to show you the cluster just up running. It's a one node cluster, ACK promotion. And if you want to try to deploy any other additional workloads, yeah, feel free to give it a try. For the purpose of this particular demo, I just want to show you how quickly you can use the automation to create an ACK cluster. And if you want to verify the motion from the command line, you can just uh, kubectl get to node you can see this is a one node cluster it just created about four minutes ago it's a one node it's running 1.20a okay back to the slide deck just to include a few reference links if you're keen to know a little bit more where are the scripts how i automate the ack cluster and the first one automation source code here in an official documentation page about the ack cluster if you want to try to create an ACK cluster from the web console, here's a YouTube video here. And also another video about how to build an ACK cluster by Open API. That's pretty much all I want to cover for today. Thank you for watching. And I hope it is useful to you. If you do find it is useful, please like and share with your friends. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.